something freaking great. Oh. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's E Rock Rods, and today we got something different. We are riding the High Boy SR2 Plus electric scooter. We're going to be doing a little review on the scooter. So this is the S2R Plus model by High Boy. And this is what it looks like coming out of the package. Charger. Looks like a 1.5 amp charger. There's some tools and bolts. Just we just pull this out. Straight out. So it looks like we just have to put it up and get the handlebars on. And it comes with two extra inner tubes, which is nice. left is to inflate the tires and make sure this has got enough juice. Thank you to the High Boy team for sending this out for review. This is going to be the first electric scooter review on the channel. I've ridden electric scooters for a long time, but I've actually haven't done reviews on them. This will be a nice intro scooter to the channel. We do own a Segway scooter, but I just never reviewed it. I thought it was going to be below 40 degrees. It's like 45 degrees today, so I'm extra bundled up. And I don't think I need it to be. I mean, I feel comfortable, so it's all good. Let's pull over and just go through the specs and take a look at the scooter. Alright, so what we got here is the High Boy S2R Plus. It has a max speed of uh, 19 miles per hour, nothing crazy. It's basic commuter scooter speeds. It has a max load of 220 pounds. It's IPX4 waterproof rated, which is a good thing, especially for city commuters. It is packing a 350 watt motor. It has a 36 volt, 8.7 amp hour battery. The tires are 9 inch pneumatic tires. It has disc brakes, but it also has e-braking as well. Look, we got a little bell. It has a thumb throttle, and it's not gonna turn on unless I push off. It has a front headlight right here, and we got a tail light, which also has a brake light feature. See it blinking? The battery is removable, which is a pro. We'll show you that feature a little bit later on. Oh, I didn't even take off the keys, but these are the keys to remove the battery. Right here. This is the charging port. And it's pretty light scooter. It weighs 31 and a half pounds. So that's pretty manageable to toss in the back of the car as a last mile solution. So to turn on the headlight, it's just a quick tap. You'll see it come on and off. We double tap, changes the speed mode. Green, there's a green S and then there's a red S. We'll test out the different modes to see what the top speeds are for each. All right, and let's go. If I press the throttle, it won't go unless you do a little push off. So we'll push off. We're in the green mode, S that's green. Slight incline here. And it's nothing, nothing crazy. 12 miles per hour. So green looks like eco mode to me. Maxing out at 12 miles per hour. 13. And we're gonna have a slight downhill here. Yeah, it looks like it's programmed to, to even on downhill to slow down a little bit. We'll do another run around on the sport mode, the red S. All right, let's change these speeds. 
and I am not at a full battery. I charged it up a little bit, but I didn't get a full battery, so yeah, this is definitely not a speed demon scooter. I would say it's an intro scooter, intro commuter scooter for anyone that's getting into electric scooters. And it's not hard to ride, just like any push kick scooter. All right, so we're on a slight uphill right now, and it's only going 15, 16 miles per hour. Capping at 16 right now, but it is saying that I'm also at like half battery, 17, which is a fine speed for, for bike lanes. If you're gonna be riding this in the city or using it as a commuter, it's definitely fine speed for bike lanes. All right, so we're gonna have a slight downhill here. All right, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, 18, and it feels fine. Nothing necessarily wrong with it. But we're gonna go on a little hill test right here, a little incline. See how it manages this. We're still in sport mode. And we're going up it at nine miles per hour. Yeah, there's a ton of companies out there that make electric scooters, these commuter electric scooters. And High Boy seems to have a ton of different models. This was one of the more basic commuter scooter models. Like I mentioned before, I do have one of the Segways. I forget the model that I have. I haven't ridden it in a while, but it's very similar. Segway is just a bigger brand, much bigger, well-known name, Segway 9Bot. If you are living in a hilly area, this might struggle a little bit. Here's speed bump, going at 16. Okay, definitely will feel bigger bumps. So on the website, the scooter I believe retails for $7.99, but it's listed as $3.99 currently. And most of the scooters in this category are probably ranging around like $300 to $500, I would say. So it's right in the middle there. I feel like this one has some nice features that other scooters do not have, such as the functioning brake light and the removable battery. So those are some things to consider if you are looking into commuter scooters. Oh, it is messy here. One thing that I want to mention is that this wiring I'm not a fan of. I didn't like. Uh, when I was assembling the scooter, all you had to really do was attach the handlebars to the stem, but this wire coming through was super long. Like it was, I couldn't tuck it away up here. I think I have some video that'll throw up on the screen, but I couldn't tuck it away up here. So what I had to do is I had to pull it down here. So I had enough room to attach the, the wires. I don't like this wire management right here. It was, it was tighter before, but I had an issue. I don't know if I did anything wrong. So if I did, hi boy, let me know. That's one of the things that I don't like is this cable management. Besides that, it feels solid. No other complaints. So the throttle is very gradual. I mean, it's responsive, but it's very, very gradual. One of the things that I don't like about my Segway is that when you hit that throttle, it's like zero to 100. You could actually burn out. For anyone new to scooters, would probably not feel comfortable on. This is a very gradual speed increase. So it's not, it's not gonna be intimidating to anyone new to electric scooters or PEVs. And of course, the top speed is nothing to be worried about either. Let's see how this braking works. We'll do a little brake test. We'll go full speed. Okay, so that's cool. I definitely feel the uh, regen kick in when you hit the brakes. So it's, it's not just the mechanical disc brake, which um, some electric scooters just rely on. There's also that e-braking, which is definitely helpful with stopping the scooter. And you, you feel it kick in when you, hit the, when you hit the brakes. So even at two bars, it says we're still going at 17 miles per hour. It didn't drop off too crazy. 
All right, so let's take a look at this folding. We pull this up, pull this little bar up, slide this off, and then it should just bend right down. And then this little latch right here should hook on right on the end, and then walk around with this, take it upstairs, light last mile solution. And then to put it back up, press, it should come right off. Best to have the kickstand down. Up, and push, and then you're good to go. Let's take a look at the battery. All right, so this is another, another cool feature. Comes with two, set, two sets of keys. Pops right off and lifts right up. Easy peasy, but very easy to remove. Take this in, take this into the office, charge it. Here's the charging port. And then this is the charging port on the scooter itself. Pop that right back in. Backs. Hear that snap, and that's just like that. Easy. Very nice feature. Check out more at www.highboy.com. Final thoughts. It's a nicely built electric scooter, and it would be a perfect for anyone getting to PEVs electric scooters. It's definitely a good last mile solution with its lightweight, its foldability, as you saw the folding capabilities. And um, yeah, I mean, electric scooters are always, they're, they're definitely fun. I would like to dip my feet into more high power electric scooters in the future. So we'll see if that's something that will come to the channel. But they're definitely, definitely fun. All PEVs are loved equally by E-Rock Rods. So thanks again to my friends at High Boy for sending us out for a review. If you guys enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. Hit the thumbs up button, it really helps out the channel. And we will catch you on the next ride. All right guys, right on. Oh,